Hey guys, Mike Money Game here. How's it going? I'm back with more Paper Mario at the Thousand Year Door, and if you notice, we're still this weird silhouette thing of ourselves. Go to your party, your party members are gone. Now, this is the reason why this is so hard. Because along the way back, you can still get into fights. And if you get into a fight, um, well, let's just say something really bad is going to happen. Anyway, even, no matter what, you want to use this because you're going to need the health. Let me just tell you straight out. Because along the way, it's really hard to get out of here. You also want to make sure to save again. You know, you just save. And there's no reason to hang around here, so just drop and start heading out. Meehee, <laughs> yes, this time we'll take that Mario and get his map. With this super bomb here, uh, super bomb bomb here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Gah. Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that huh mean what I think it does? I I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar. Start making up excuses for yourself. If you don't have it, then obviously... If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it. And obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to play that I lost it, you little lollygagging worm? I No, of course not, Bedlam. Well, we can't do much without it now, can we? Oh, you are such an idiot. Very well, I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Mary and I go take a well-earned siesta. And if you don't find it, well, you know what'll happen, don't you? I, I get punished. That's right, you little twit, so get cracking. Come on, Marilyn, let's leave this useful, useless little fool to her chore. Gah. That's so unfair, don't you guys agree? Anyway, what you want to do is you uh, want to try to open this and realize it still won't open. Oh yeah, well, haha! -ha. Awesome. And uh, you can save it here if you want. There's no real purpose because I just saved it. Unless you don't want to watch that scene again. Now, whenever you see a battle, try to get away from it as fast as possible. Just run for it. Trust me, you do not want to get in any fights by yourself. It's no fun at all. There's nothing we can do to, like, pass the time. You know, we can't have, like, Goombella talk to us and stuff like that, because she's not here. We can't have her help us with the fights. If you're getting any fights, I recommend just running away, because it's just way too dangerous otherwise to stay in the fight. You know? I mean, this unless there's, like, only just one enemy... That's the only way I would recommend staying in a fight. But since there's always more than one, I just recommend running from every single one. One time I had it in the little pixel that was still left over, and I was so pissed. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Go the fuck away! That is the weirdest glitch in the world. I can't get past him now because of that. So I'm just gonna have to run from his ass. There we go, we're good. Don't worry about losing coins, it's not that big of a deal. Trust me, if you fight, if you try to fight every single one of those battles, you'll get your ass hit, like, killed instantly. So it's definitely not worth it. <clears throat> I like how even if you're a silhouette, they'll still attack you, they don't care. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. 
Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, can I jump now? And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So you figured it out by now, right? Slick, your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got this p the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body, too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough, either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. Now what you're gonna notice... is the little I is miss- a uh, uh, little letter is missing here. I almost said I, but it's actually a P, isn't it? Yeah. Um, without that letter, you have no hope of figuring out this guy's name. So I like to t mess around with him. I like to call him bad words and stuff. Not like, you know, asshole or anything, but I like to call him moron just for fun. Yes. Wrong Amundo, little nobody. Who would name that kid that? Prepare for Doom Slick. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And don't even think about running from battle here. No running. Now, there is no reason to fight yourself because you won't win. So just run away. Trust me, if you try to fight yourself, I think it does either no damage or it's not worth it. Aw, that's no fun. And any time you have to come back to that screen, you have to fight him again, so don't do it. Now that Mario took care of that curse monster, I don't have to guard the gate. And here I am doing it anyway. Yeah, just to keep the weirdos out, you know? Yeah, you look kind of weird. If I had to classify you, you'd be a bad guy. Hmm. Yes, I'm a novelist. It's not all that easy on the eyes, but I read it by moonlight. So what kind of books do you like anyway? Hmm, fantasy. Shouldn't you spend your time reading something a little more worthwhile? Like what? Like strategy guides? <laughs> I think the, if you say what he uh, likes, which is romance, I guess maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You do, I guess you just can't. Curse has lived since Mario beat that bad, bad ghost. Ah, the perfect red cap. Those scuffed blue overalls. He's the absolute best. Why don't you do something about your appearance and spuff up like Mario, huh? I've been thinking lately. I don't really want to be a pig. But being a crow would be okay. Because then I could fly. No one's ever heard of a flying pig. <laughs> when I awoke, I was here. Ends the shop. I swear it. I do not lie. Please, say something, madam. I meant you. No arm. I promise. Believe me. Not untrue, Monsieur. Okay, anyway. Let's see if I can start here with his. Perhaps I don't want to know. No! I do. Tell me. Be honest. It's my shop. She's my wife. I don't want to have to use a ninja punch to blast you out of here. Now, speak. You cad. Why were you in here while I was gone? Answer me. <laughs> Perhaps I don't want to know. Huh? I don't understand this madness. No, no. I just do not get it. I remember coming here by that pipe. But it all got fuzzy after that, and now I do not know where I am. Not that is a problem. This a filly is just fetching on. I collect the goods and she sells them. Simple. Good shop like a good marriage is dependent on teamwork, my friend. So show your support and buy something. Oh, this is awkward. I guess that pig wasn't my husband at all. This guy is younger and cuter than my husband, actually. What a strapping fellow. Perhaps it's time I traded in for a new husband. <laughs> oh, I'm only fooling. Greetings. Welcome to the Twilight Shop. What you need? I'm here to buy. Actually, let me check something. So I'm here to check some stuff. I'm gonna check in one of my items.
Okay. I almost forgot that I was recording. Awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's put in one of the boo sheeps. And the gem and jelly. Nope. Thanks for that. Anyway, um... Let's buy one super shroom. And we'll just keep that for now. The curse was oink lifted. That Mario sure was oink something, wasn't he? Ah, oh, I can't stop oinking. What should I oink do? Anyway, we don't really need to talk to other people. The three sisters three, we have to talk to them. Hey, we are the traveling sisters three. Hey, I think we were pigs until a moment ago. No way, we're not pigs. But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? Heart. <laughs> yes, you would. Yes, you would. Anyway, over here, you see Vivian. She's like, <laughs> What do I do? What do I do? Poor me. Aw, we gotta go help her. Don't worry, Vivian. I'll save you. What's up? I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's gonna punish me again. But it's just not here. Oh, yeah? Let's see, is it right here? No, is it right here? No, is it here? Hmm, about here, nope. <clears throat> nope. Aha, there it is. You got a super bum bum. Won't Vivian be punished if she doesn't find this? Here you go, Vivian. Let me give you your items you're looking for. What, you found it? Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness, at least I won't get punished now. Oh no! It's broken! It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for life. Here, let me fix it. Oh, don't even bother trying. It's really busted. What I'll do now, huh? My sister will be back any minute now. But I do appreciate your offer. Thank you. And disappears. Hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? I can't. What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's absolutely crazy. So he's telling her the story. Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me that whole time. That's so kind. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna help you get back your name, and your body, and your friends. No, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. And I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. Aww. How cute. So, <laughs> here we go. <coughs> my favorite party member in the game, Vivian has joined your party. Well, at least one of my favorites. Vivian's abilities, a primer. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. When hiding in the shadows, press X to re-emerge. In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her Shade Fist. Or, she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her Veil move. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now, how are we going to get that kind of information? Oh, hey, I have, I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent when people, with people around, but they're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, you can listen to another conversation without them knowing. So, in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some in lo info from the local birds. That's the least I could do f for you with my powers. Alright, so we got a party member again. Anyway, like she said, if you come to certain trees where crows are, you can talk to him by turning invisible. You know, people often say that my shadow is faint. But yours is really something. I mean, you are a shadow. No offense or anything. Uh, what? A guy with a red cap and some blue overalls? That sounds familiar. Come on, Brain. Oh yeah, that's Mario. He's the adventurer who saved our village. Are you an adventurer too? I like adventures. <laughs> anyway, come over here and turn invisible. I've been really depressed lately thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. 
We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric. I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. <laughs> yeah, even this game was still talking about our energy crisis. You gotta move in here. You sound like you. You'd fit right in. You know what I mean? Oink, 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 oink. I'm practicing for pig time. If I go into the swine side, I'm gonna be more positive. There's no more creek curse? You're kidding. Could you give me some time alone? Okay. Don't know what he's gonna do in there, but okay. Oh, uh, hey guys. Oh, thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. Boy, Mario, you sure got chatty all of a sudden. I mean, you, like, never talk. Oh, well, I guess it's not too totally weird or anything. Uh, Mario, you seem kind of different. I mean, you're sort of like the life of the party now, so I guess that's cool. The game designers making fun of themselves. Uh, Gonzales, what's up with you, like? You're kind of freaking me out. I mean, I'm all for acting like a complete loon, but it's not exactly in your character. My, 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 Mario, you're rather dramatic of late, aren't you? To be honest here, I'd rather enjoy your quiet dignity and strength of character. Hey, ha, whoa, he, ha. Look at me, look at me, that's a me, Mario. Wah ha ha ha. Dumbass. Anyway, now who might you be? I don't remember inviting any shadows to my house. Sorry, but Mario's visiting today. If you don't need anything, please leave. Hmm, okay. That's something that many people don't show off, so I thought I would show that off too. At least I don't remember the person showing it off. We're free! Yes! We're no longer pigs! I say yoink! No more oink! I just wanna sing! Okay, you loom. Also, another cool thing I like about um, Vivian is as you, wa if you watch her run around, she actually kind of just surfs along the ground. It's kind of cool. Well, I'm not close enough. Well, come on, I know you can talk to this bird. There we are, right there. Alas, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of Mundetni. Hmm. Hey, Mendy, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, has taken his SATs this year. Oh god, I hated those. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feather slow. God, I remember taking the SATs. Those things were a pain in the ass. Anyway, come over here. Oh, too far. Here we go. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is located under Creepy Steeper. Steeple, I hear. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So I wonder how all this is going to end up, then. Did you hear that? If we search under Creepy Steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. However, to get back to Creepy, creepy Steeple, we're going to have to go through the... Uh... Hooray, I get to edit something out. Yay. I freaking love getting to edit stuff out. Anyway, let's go. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that would have, wouldn't have looked very good, wouldn't it? Now, I think if you, you don't get this line of dialogue if you don't go and talk to him inside the town. So that's why he says this here. So, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, can the chatter. Here's the deal. You get your chance and I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Man, my screen's acting up. You guys won't notice that, anyway. But still. Let's see, what should I call him this time? No, wait, wait, wait.
There we go. Beaver. I know, I know it's not spelled right. I don't give a crap. Bongamundo, little nobody. Who named their kid that? Perhaps some dooms. Like... <coughs> no running. Too bad. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> No, don't worry, he won't turn back to town what it looks like. He'll run off this way. Ah, that's no fun! He must have been hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. The enemies aren't very stupid. They kind of tend to hang out where you are when you're hidden. At least that's what I've noticed. I could be, like, getting some level ups, I guess, if I wanted to, now that I have a partner. But there's really no point. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna end this one here and meet you at the castle. Till then, bye.